Did it really happen? The Steve Madden IPO in the Wolf of Wall Street. The movie made it seem like Steve Madden was a deer in the headlights, but that's far from the truth. Steve Madden dropped out of U Miami after becoming addicted to drugs. He partied harder than anyone, but his vision for shoes was never blurred by Quaaludes. He built one of the hottest shoe brands in the 90s. And while it's true, his high school friend Danny Porsche, played by Jonah Hill, introduced Steve to Jordan Belfort to handle the IPO, Jordan didn't take advantage of it. But rather, Steve was in on it, pumping and dumping his own stock, making money hand over Fist. Even when the FBI began investigating Belfort, Steve refused to give him up and even let Belfort hide in his office. Steve was later convicted on stock manipulation and fraud and ended up serving more time in jail than the wolf himself. But unlike Belfort, Steve's company is still around to this day. In fact, Steve Madden reported record financial results in 2021 and Steve himself continues to serve as its chief creative officer.